This is Yorkshire Television in colour. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is John Irwin and this is Excelsior Entertainments. Well, I'm betting you can't guess where I am today or where I'm going to start this walk. Well, judging by those establishing shots, you'll know that I've begun today's walk at the Akiva Tower. What? Yes, the Akiva Tower. Or, as we know it here in Yorkshire, the Emily Moore Transmitter. That's to us Yorkshire folk, isn't it? I think Akiva is the company that looks after it. Anyway, today's walk is essentially around about 14 miles. So we're going to go from the transmitter back to Wordsborough Bridge and some points in between. I'm going to pass down this track and then head towards what is known as Whistle Stop Valley, which is down there in Clayton West. I think it's closed today, but I'll show you what it is and I'll provide you with some links in the description below. It's a, basically an heritage railway site. It's a uh, adventure playground for the kids. You know, it's, a, it's one of those fun family uh, outings uh, because I believe if I've done my little bit of reading that uh, Clayton West, the area, and that site was the terminus of a railway line which has now obviously been converted into what it is. Uh, from there I'm then going to head up to High Oiland. Uh, there's a pub up there, the Cherry Tree, might drop in there for a pint. Then down there onto the Cawthorn Estate, Cannon Hall. That'll be around about seven miles uh, and if I decide to call it a day there that's where uh, I'll get picked up from. Maybe the Spencer's Arms at Cawthorn. If not then I'll carry on towards uh, Silkston, up towards Doddeth, over the top, down on the, onto the trans Trail, and then uh, down to Wasborough. I was gonna do the intro to this video at the Emily Moore transmitter. However, I came up here the other day, we went to the sculpture park, uh, myself and Abigail. Absolutely brilliant. We popped up there uh, to have a quick look round, and we thought, oh, this will be perfect when I come back and start the walk. But I got there this morning, and there was construction had started there were vehicles being dropped off etc so it was banging clattering and it was it was quite windy as well so i thought right i'll head down to the track uh, and i'll do the intro down there so i'm going to also get some drone footage if i can it's quite windy where i am but uh, i'm going to uh, use a battery up and see if i can get some decent footage one of the other things that i didn't mention about uh, the transmitter is that the tower that you see today, well, that's not the original, uh, because back on the 19th of March 1969, at one minute past five in the afternoon, YTV and the brand new colour BBC2 were taken off the air, because the original transmitter tower collapsed. The old style of tower had some guy cables, you know, metal cables, that uh, held it to the ground. Well, ice had formed on those cables and obviously over time had weighed the cables down and those cables snapped and down came the tower. Doing some research, 28 days later they had erected a temporary transmitter and YTV was back on the air. And during that time they commenced the construction of the tower that we all know today. This is Yorkshire Television, broadcasting from the Emily Moore, Belmont, and associated transmitters of the Independent Broadcasting Authority. So, yeah, a relatively good start to this walk. Uh, so, as I leave the Emily Moore transmitter behind, I head down this track. Uh, effectively towards, as you can see off in the distance down there, that's Clayton West at the bottom. And as I say, down here, uh, there is that little sort of, I, I, I don't want to call it an adventure playground because that makes it sound smaller than it is. I was going to get a ticket, go in and get you some uh, pictures and videos and whatnot. But as I said earlier, I'll leave you a link in the description below to it. Whistle Stop Valley it is called. And that is basically where I'm heading. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but if you look over there, 
onto that tree line, that ridge line up there. That's effectively where I'm heading. High Oiland is at the top there and then it drops down on the other side towards Cawthorn. So as I say then, in the meantime, I'm going to head down this track and emerge at Clayton West. So, as you can see then, uh, I came down from the Emily Moore transmitter and I arrived here at Whistle Stop Valley. It's closed today and I've just had a, a very wonderful chat, uh, chat uh, with one of the lads that works here. I think his name has gone off to his car to uh, collect something, but he's actually going to let me in uh, and get a few photos and videos, which I think is absolutely wonderful. Uh, so bear with me. He did tell me that Saturday and Sunday uh, is your best day to pop down here. So, as I say, bear with me and we'll get in there and get some photos and videos. You are not authorized to access this facility. Ah, well, the best laid plans of mice and men, isn't it? Well, we went into the Whistle Stop Valley location and of course I got presented to one of the superiors but because there was a day trip for school children I wasn't sort of allowed in to film, get photographs, videos etc which you know I totally understand it would have been a bonus but not to worry so I carried on walking, I came round and I ended up here at I believe it's called All Saints Church so I'm just having five minutes and then I shall carry on up the hill towards High Island. So, where was I? Right, we uh, went to the Whistle Stop Valley, couldn't quite get in there, so I made my way around to All Saints Church. At Clayton West, uh, I found a shop there, I got myself a little sandwich, made my way up to I Island. I ate it up there, enjoyed the views, should have got you some photographs, but eh, you know, I was busy recharging things and whatnot. Cannon Hall is over there to my right. The village of Cawthorn is to my front and centre. It's seven miles when I reach Cannon Hall, which is approximately, roughly, halfway. And I'm feeling absolutely fine. So, I think I will probably carry on and finish this walk at Wisborough. Let's continue. Right then, um, so uh, I got some bits and pieces here at Cannon Hall, uh, and then the temperature is really dropping. So I think uh, I think we'll call it a quits for today. I think uh, it's been a wonderful walk. I reckon about seven miles, or maybe a little bit further, because I got a bit sort of. I'm not saying lost in the woods, but I kept uh, taking. Uh, wrong turnings and whatnot, so it took me a while. Uh, but then as I was walking down this path, I looked over there and I could see the Cherry Tree pub up at I Island, and I thought, well, if I'd have just come down the roads, I'd have been quicker, which was, uh, which was and usually always is the plan. I don't like using uh, unknown uh, footpaths. Anyway, as I say, that'll do for today. Uh, seven and a bit miles, I reckon. Uh, and we finish here 
that can and all run a bit dark while I get through this gate. Uh, yeah, I was just saying on another video I, I brought another gadget. Uh, so I had a fiddle with that. Um, I can't remember the last update I did. I suspect something like I was um, coming down through the woods and I said that I would get to um, Cannon Hall. Well, I got here and uh, yeah, sun went way overcast, it's still a bit breezy, so it might be time, I think, to get a taxi from here. Um, so I'm going to head up to the Spencer's Arms, have a drink in there, maybe a nibble, uh, and I think probably head home from there, get a taxi. Uh, the other thing I was going to tell you about, I bought the other day another gadget that essentially uh, stabilises mobile phone footage, which is what I'm using right now. Um, I don't know if it's going to look any better than the 360 camera. It probably should, but, you know, this is the first time I've used it. I've had f a few stabiliser gimbals in the past, uh, but I, I convinced myself that I needed another one, even though the 360 camera does pretty much exactly the same as this does. So you could say, well, why don't you send it back? Well, I've got it now, haven't I? Um, so, I'm, I'm using it right now with my Samsung S22 mobile phone. Um, I suppose the proof is in the pudding, as they say, isn't it, when I get it in the editing suite. Yeah, an element of not sure why I bought it, because this 360 camera does everything that does. But anyway, I've got it now. So, if you have enjoyed what you've seen, then please like, share and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now. This is Yorkshire Television, broadcasting from the Emily Moore, Belmont, and associated transmitters of the Independent Broadcasting Authority.